Welcome, everybody, to the latest episode of Blizz Pro Weekly. I'm your host, Twiz. It's so good to see you guys. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, Twiz, who are, who are you? What is, what is going on here? What is this? I, what are you doing in my Blizz Pro Weekly? As with all the games that you guys play with Blizzard Entertainment and uh, so on, there is patches. Games consistently evolve and change. Change is the only thing that is constant. And Blizz Pro is no different. Things constantly are changing. And I had to retire from podcasting uh, due to some family things. But this spot opened up and it's a perfect way to keep in touch with the community put some content out there and basically give you guys what you need so uh, i am here for the ride i hope i can do well for you and um let's start off with some news because there's a whole bunch that has been going on first and foremost the wow community team has lost a giant um jonathan brown also known as zarum uh, one of the lead community managers, has left Blizzard after 11 years. Now, between him departing and Bashiak last year, those are two giants that have left the World of Warcraft community team. And that is a big, big deal. Speaking of giants, though, also, publishing lead Mickey Nielsen has announced his departure from Blizzard Entertainment after 22 years of service. Um if you have played any Blizzard game whatsoever or read any of the novels, books, or anything like that, Mickey Nielsen likely had a huge hand in making that. So BlizzPro has had the honor of working with both of these people over the past years in scheduling interviews and putting things together to, to, to work with the team and understand and get a better in-depth idea of what's going on behind the scenes with Blizzard Entertainment. So both of these these two people, these giants uh, in the business that have left will certainly be missed and we absolutely wish them the best on all of their future endeavors. Now, speaking of books, we saw this week the release of a very anticipated published book put together by Blizzard lore historian Sean Copeland. Uh, it was written by Chris Metz and Robert Book Brooks and Matt Burns. It's the World of Warcraft Chronicle Volume 1, and it is now out in bookstores and the Blizzard gear store. Many have referred to this as basically the World of Warcraft Bible. It goes into great detail on the history surrounding World of Warcraft. In case you ever wanted to know more about Titans or the Old Gods, or you wanted to know how Azeroth got to where it is today, this book is definitely for you. So check out in our show notes how you can find out where to get it, where to purchase it, and get it in your collection. And with that... Let's talk about a little StarCraft. The first mission pack of Nova Covert Ops, the latest single player campaign, is coming to the StarCraft II world on the 29th of March. Now, in the first mission pack of Nova Covert Ops, you will play as November Nova Terra, the Dominion's most powerful ghost. As Nova, you'll undertake uh, assignments that are as dangerous as they are vital to the Dominion. You're going to be infiltrating enemy bases, intercepting planetary invasions, leveraging experimental technology, and even more tech top secret missions. So basically, my entire high school career. Maybe not. The full campaign, campaign includes nine missions spanning three separate packs and features, classic StarCraft II gameplay, plus some new mechanics that are going to be seen for the very first time. The second and third mission packs will release later this year. Anyone can pick up these mission packs, even if you don't own StarCraft II or any of its expansions. So you can pre-purchase the mission bundle for $14.99. With that, we go into Heroes of the Storm. In case you were wondering, who's the next hero coming out in Heroes of the Storm? We have found out. We are very excited about it. This particular character goes by the name Dahaka from the StarCraft universe. Now, Dahaka is a primal zerg that was introduced during Heart of the Swarm. Um, he's going to be a warrior hero that's going to have a lot of incredible mobility and map presence. Um, instead of a mount, he can burrow into any bush or vent on the battleground with a 40 second cooldown. His trait allows him to collect essence per minion killed and hero takedown, and he can activate this to regen health over time. Now, his abilities include drag, which allows him to lash his tongue out and drag enemies towards him. Dark Swarm, which allows him to move through units and deal damage in an area around himself. And then there's Burrow, which allows him to burrow beneath the ground and become invulnerable for two seconds. His first of two heroic abilities are Isolation, which launches Biomass. that It basically deals damage, silences, and slows the first enemy hero that it hits uh, for 30% for three seconds. The next six seconds, the affected enemy loses sight of allied heroes and has greatly reduced vision. 
Now, his second heroic ability is Adaptation, which after 5 second delay, 60% of all the damage taken will be returned to him as health. There's also a new map revealed this week for those who love the Aram, which is all random, all middle style of play. Lost Caverns features a streamlined play area, much like, much like the arena maps that we saw at BlizzCon. Objectives are gone, hearthstones are disabled, it's just a single lane. Now, this map is only going to be available for custom games and is not going to be part of the map rotation. Uh, the intention is basically to give players something new to play with in the community and among friends. Um, definitely be on the lookout for this map after being after playing a lot of, of Heroes uh, myself. You will see a show that I used to be a part of, the Heroes Power Hour, on Tuesday nights uh, on the BlizzPro Twitch channel. So make sure you check that out as well. You're going to see this map just a ton in there. And with that, let's move on to some Overwatch. We finally have a release date for Overwatch and confirmation of an open beta. Overwatch is going to release on May 24th, so get your calendars out because there's a couple of dates that you want to remember with this. It releases on May 24th. Those that pre-order before April 29th will receive an invitation to the open beta early access for yourself and, dun dun dun, a friend. Okay, The, the access open beta is going to begin on May 3rd. So, and if you didn't pre-order, you're going to be able to join the open beta on May 5th. The final day of the open beta is May 9th. I hope you got all those dates. I'm sure you did. This pre-order and open beta access will be available on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. We were promised some animated short films of Overwatch, and we're finally going to have our first one released, probably before this video gets released. Uh, Winston's story, titled Recall, will be shown in animated form on Monday, March 21st at 12 o'clock Pacific time. It will be exclusive to xbox.com slash overwatch. Now, before you all freak out on social media, this does not mean that it's only available on Xbox One. It's a website, so anybody with a PC or any other device can head over there and watch it. Phone, Game Boy, I don't, I don't know, maybe. Let's talk about Hearthstone. The new expansion for Hearthstone has finally been revealed, and we still have another six more weeks until we get to play it. GG Blizz. Whispers of the Old God is going to have 134 new cards that are going to be released late April or early May. When we when the new set launches, uh, so will the two new formats that maybe got talked about a little bit earlier, Wild and Standard. So no longer are you guys going to have to worry about those piloted shredders or Dr. Boom in the new Standard format. Hmm, think about that. Whispers of the Old Gods focuses on four old gods, which will have its own legendary. As of right now, Cthune, I'm sure everybody's been wondering how to pronounce that, uh, has been revealed, and he has 16 minions that will affect his stats in the set. Now, as of the recording of this video, 18 of the 134 cards have been revealed so far. Make sure to check the spoiler list. Uh, BlizzPro has put the link together in the show notes, so make sure you click on that, and you can check out all the cards. Highly, highly recommended. With the new announcement also came a new patch. And in this patch that released last Monday, we saw the introduction of nine more deck slots, a new alternate paladin hero, new deck recipes, and also some added search functionality. Now, the new alternate paladin hero can be obtained by having a character reach level 20 in World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, it's not retroactive, so if you already have level 20 characters or higher, you're not going to get it. You have to ding 20 to get this Paladin Hero. So, And also, it has to be on the same account that your Hearthstone account is on. So, it is what it is. It's a new hero. Blizzard makes the rules. So that's going to do it for the very first episode for me of Blizz Pro Weekly, guys. I, it was brutal, and I'm sorry. I appreciate you hanging in there with me and working through it. It's going to get better, I promise. Not, there's no such thing as perfection from the start. It's just the way it is. Uh, as always, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Blizz Pro channel so you can keep up to date with the latest Blizzard news. Um, if you want to come hang out with us in chat, uh, play some games, we have what's called a Discord server. It is Discord is like Mumble or vent but free and you can come hang out with us and so you can check that out by going to discord.blizzpro.com you can follow me on the tweeter at twizbp um i'd love to talk to you love to hang out with you and um 
yeah, hit me up anytime. And don't forget to check out blizzpro.com for all your news, reviews, great community, and everything that you wanted to know in the world of Blizzard Entertainment. So until next week, my friends, game safe, love one another, and we'll most certainly catch you on the flip side. Take care.